Well, here we are again. Got those coated. It's nice. All right, we're going to talk about the toilet. This is a homemade composting toilet. I wasn't paying $500 for one, so I made one. Let's lift this up. String, a little hooky. Hold that open. Homemade toilet paper roll holder. That's uh, peat moss in the back. And back there is the fan, which is vented outside. And I got a little squirt bottle with uh, vinegar water in it. So after you go pee pee in here, you squirt it a little bit, helps with the smell. This will lift up if you need it to. It's <clears throat> it's a bucket in a bucket, kind of. Cut uh, four inches off the bottom of a bucket and then cut it in half. Got my a fitting in there with some plumber's tape. It's a half inch inner diameter tube on it to go into my catch basin. And use stainless steel screws. And then have it angled just a little bit down like that so liquid drains to the drain. And then the liquid goes in this little container here. I got it at Walmart. And this is how you take it out. And this white stuff in here, that's all caulked in, is like uh, what you used to line showers with. I wanted it waterproof in there in case I had any spillage. And it wouldn't get in my regular floor. And I have the uh, bucket just a little bit higher than floor height, so it could drain properly into the storage container for the liquid. I'm getting ready to take this apart because all these touchable surfaces are going to get coated with the polycrylic and then right there's my switch you just reach over on this side to turn it on that's all good all right if you want to make one yourself it's a lot cheaper than paying five hundred dollars for a composting toilet which is ridiculous Alright, that's it.